yeah, if you look at the label on a bottle of clam juice, it doesn't look that impressive. So how is it the single most nutrient dense food? First of all, there are only four micronutrients, five if you include sodium, that are required to be listed on a nutrition facts label. Vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. But there's 59, I think, essential micronutrients. And it just so happens that clam juice is really high in ones that aren't on the label. The nutrient it has the most of is vitamin B12. One cup has 500% of the daily value. It also has a good amount of selenium, potassium, magnesium, and smaller amounts of most other vitamins and minerals. And because 33 nutrients go into the Nutrivor score calculation, it gives a better overall picture of the nutrient density of clam juice compared to the four micronutrients listed on the label. The other really important factor here is that nutrient density is defined as nutrients per calorie. Clam juice is a very low energy density food, meaning it doesn't have a lot of calories. When you divide by a smaller number, you get a bigger number. So low energy density foods don't have to have as much nutrition to have high nutrients per calorie. And it's why I recommend using the Nutriver score only to compare foods that are interchangeable on your plate. In this case, you might compare clam juice to bone broth, which depending on the type of broth has Nutriver scores in the few hundreds compared to over 14,000 for clam juice. Or you might compare an apple to a strawberry, broccoli to green beans, chicken to liver. While it's interesting to say that kale and liver have very similar amounts of nutrients per calorie, they have nearly the same Nutriver score. Liver has a lot more nutrients per serving. It's a much higher energy density food than kale. So we just have to keep that in mind when we're doing comparisons. And I would have never guessed that clam juice would be the most nutrient dense food either. I would have guessed something like liver or kale. But that's why this calculation is so cool. It gives us an objective measurement of the quality of the calories in a food and insight that we could get no other way.